Blessings and fortune for the Virgos. It feels like an entrance to something. Blessings and fortune. We're going to start with your blessings and fortune coming to you, towards you, this first week of October. And then we're going to go for your tarot, your side, and your person's side over here. So let's see first what's going on with the Oracle. Okay. Oh, let's see. For the Virgos. Blessings and fortune. Ooh, okay. It's funny because uh, this was... Oh, I, this I will talk about it in a little bit. <laughs> Let me focus on this one. No, I'm focusing on this one, but I have a topic about it. Because this is what I was thinking before I started reading. Either a move, a relocation, uh, a change in an environment. This is what's a blessing and a fortune to you. Environment, mostly home situation. You could be buying of a new home, which I'll teach you how and how to manifest that. Uh, I feel like you may be traveling back home. That's something that is going to be a blessing for you. So it's too early for the holidays, but you're definitely spending time with family here. It feels like you are trying to understand also what makes you feel at home and at peace. Renovation, buying off, I feel like new stuff for the house. You're either um, sprucing up if it's not renovation or maybe changing of curtains or some linens or the kitchen. You're updating stuff here or just the lighting I'm seeing here. There is also a feeling of miss, uh, missing out. Now, what you're missing out is like people who are close and dear to you. There's a lot of things going on in your life, especially as like it's very hectic here. I'm seeing like you're in and out of the house and then work and then this and that. And you never really get to enjoy your living you know, where you live or where you reside. It feels like someone that you used to connect with wants to see you. It's like just they just want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I see that they're they're either about to text you or call you. See, when I hold the card, I'm gonna go psychic over here. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm seeing that you're also trying to cleanse your place, your house, and you're just trying to invite, maybe you're doing some feng shui, vastu, um, energy kind of uh, ritual inside the house. I'm seeing it here. I don't know what this is, but I keep doing that. So keep your doors open, not, you know, not at the front door, meaning windows open. That's good for the energy of the sun. Sun always should come into the house. It, it brings all the energy to good vibes. Because your card here is no place like home. Now, like what I was saying, I'm going to go now to your tarot. Um, what's interesting, because I, before I started, I was thinking about what we had discussed over the weekend, which we had about manifestation for um, coins and, of course, house and real estate. And we're talking about, like, um, how to bring in and attract that. So you'll see there... Um, we had this whole pre-sale. It's the Lucky Coin Collection, double PL, real gold. It's 40%. It's a pre-sale right now. Um, mine is already out of stock, this one. The Blue Lace Agate with White Coral, it's gone. Um, it comes with a money catcher charm. You hang it by your door and a pouch to carry. And, of course, this one is for making a wish. It's sealed here by us for protection. You wish... Uh, you, um, Three wishes before you open it to set the intention. And then if you're wishing for real estate and property in a home, why not? This can be a car also. Okay, just saying. So go get it. I'll tag in the corner of this video. We ship international, but in the U.S. we ship for free. Okay, here we go. Your side first. Ooh, we're independent. Ooh. You love love, huh? Virgo, you got Nine of Pentacles here. That's not love. You got Six of Swords with Ace of Cups. I sense here uh, either you're hopeless romantic and sometimes you just feel hopeless because you feel good here. But there are times that you are on the Six of Swords, which means like you can be such a Debbie Downer to yourself. Like you're the only one who's putting a pressure. It's like, oh, why am I alone? Why don't I have anyone? That's a self-impose. Why am I alone? Because you are. There's no answer to that, and there's no, there's nothing wrong with being alone. 
Because I feel like this is what you like to do. Six of Swords. You feel defeated. I don't know. Everybody's getting married. You know, everybody gets married and everybody gets divorced. So, 20s, married. And then the next thing is like, oh, you know, I'm getting divorced. Like, I can't wait for my divorce. That's a conversation in the 40s. It's like, yeah, I've been dying to get divorced. In the 20s, you've been dying to get married. That's why in the 60s, you're dying. You're just dying. Not divorced, not getting I'm dying. That's it. Because you go through this thinking that you're missing out in life with the Six of Swords. Because Six of Swords with the Ace of Cups, I want to love, I want to be the... Not until you really love yourself. That's the best love. You go to you go to wherever you want, do whatever you want with your life. That's love. It's not always hallmark. We have to share our life with someone. Of course, we're humans. It's natural for us to have someone. But it's n there's nothing wrong with being alone. But that's what you look at at Six of Swords. You're fine. You're healthy, Nine of Pentacles. You're doing good. You're doing amazing. So I don't know why you're having these doubts. Why are you putting yourself down with that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You look at statistics. I mean, like, is there anyone right now who has a marriage that lasted and everybody's dying to get married? I feel like the best, the best thing right now is to have as a career as a lawyer, you know? So for all these divorces or work at the city hall for marriage licenses and contracts, you'd probably make a killing over there, you know? Um, I would look at it on a perspective of how do we make this, okay? <laughs> mm. Soon there should be like a FaceTime marriage. I feel like that's at some point, right? Mm. Let's continue. Page of one, Prince of Wands, Five of Wands. Oh, well, you know, here's the logic of the Virgo that I don't understand them, that life is complicated and nobody's ever on their side. Nobody should be on your side. That is facts. Why would should be? You should learn to stand alone. Life is just like that. We are born by ourselves. We'll die also by just ourselves. But people like to think that they have to depend and have someone, seven of ones, three of five ones. I don't know, but I, and that's giving co codependency. I need to be strong and dependent. Not saying that we don't need no one, but these are five of ones here. The reason why you're feeling this is because you help other people, and then when you ask help from them, they're, no, they're not there. So don't help them. Help yourself. Why would you help them if they're not there for you? Help yourself. That's what I would do. But here with your person, it's like, well, I'm always there for them, giving them love, this and that, and they're never there for me. So be there for yourself. Why rely on them? If they're unreliable, logic, hello, right? Mm. Relationship is logical, not emotional. It's a partner. It's, it's not your kid. If it's a kid, that's different. That's a different relation. That's a different bond. That's your flesh. A relationship is someone who you just met, you dated, you married. It doesn't bind you to anything. Of course, the contract, that's holy. Mm. But you are attached to this person. My, my, mm, two of cups because there's so many. Let me go for the cross watcher. Cross watcher wants to tell you that you're difficult. I'm not coming after you, Virgo, especially in your birthday month. Okay. In sidereal. In sidereal, it's just your, just started your birthday. Your person wants to be with you. Mm. But I feel like your person is having a hard time making you feel secure. Nine of Wands, Four of Wands with the High Priestess. They don't know what to tell you anymore. I feel like whoever's this energy, they always need to be, how do you call that? Assured there. Someone always has to be, of course it's important, to reaffirm the person that we're with. Like, I'm there for you. I'm here for you. Right? Totally. Um, your person is doing that, I think. But they stop. And that's where you got upset. Okay. So if someone says, okay, because it feels like three of pentacles with the four of ones here, they really want to work this, right? There's this security. There's this like, okay, let's make it happen. Let's talk. I'm here to understand what you're going through. Let's just say you're having, you're having some issues. Now you have the high priestess though. I don't understand why they, all of a sudden they stop. So you aired your problem and then they bounce? Oh, that's a different story then. This, is not, this person is only there for the fun. But they're claiming here, nine of wands chart with the two of cups, that they always have to extend themselves to you. And that's why they shut down. Mm -hmm. That's why they shut down. Okay. Now, it's interesting because you have the four of wands here and the high priestess. Someone is manifesting really at home right here. Mm. Like what I told you. You know, um, in the free master class in the description box below um, for the double PL, lucky coin, okay? 
you can check it out how to manifest how to use it okay especially if it's about the home or peace at home it will bring because it's removed the negativity okay so this is that's why i'm saying oh let's rub the negative let's get away negativity right because your person right now here feels very negative towards you because they're upset with you definitely very good mm -hmm. that's why the high pieces there now they're hiding themselves from you mm. Ain't talking. Ain't talking. Ooh, okay. Ooh, well, at least we got something resolved, I feel. Because you got a two of cups here. So there's love. You have ace of cups here. And there's love again. And then you got a loyal heart. So there's nothing to doubt about how they feel towards you. Like they really, really love you with the loyal heart over here. So I like that. The rest about this relationship, you can doubt. You can doubt if they're going to be there for you. you. You can doubt all those things. The only thing I'm seeing here is like love is there. I don't know if they spend time. I don't know if they put effort. I don't know if this, this, and that. That's I feel like that's between the two of you. So make sure to check out our Lucky Piao. I'll tie in the corner of this video. I'll see you guys again. Bye.